Hi there, this is John, John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the video show. This is the video show all about commercial real estate around the world, where I can help you with specific strategies and ideas in brokerage, sales, leasing, or property management. And today's show is one such topic for you. So our website is commercial-realestate-training.com and visit that website to get our tools, tips, resources and recommendations regards sales, leasing and property management. So in today's program, I'm going to be focusing down into measuring your property presentation and why that is so important to increase your conversions with listings in your location. So before we start the program, make sure you grab a coffee, grab your notebook, come back and listen to the program even a few times so you can get these ideas sorted and into your property presentation. As part of this particular video show, I have put an article here at the website for you and the particular website article you should go to is 8 Highly Effective Presentation Skills in Commercial Real Estate Brokerage. Just go there and have a look at this particular article. It will tell you so many things about how you can improve your property presentation. So that's the article. Go to the website, download it, print it and use it. So let's get into this particular video show and take you further into the topic. And of course, make your notes as we go. So measuring up your property presentation, what is it all about? How can you improve your property presentation? Let's look at these particular ideas. I've got 13 ideas here for you to move through and to think about as part of your property activities, your services in your location. So number one, there it is there. Be absolutely 100% sure that your presentation integrates seamlessly to precisely the way your prospects want to apply your property service, your solution to solve their challenge, be it buying, selling, leasing, whatever it is. Be practical, be efficient, be money saving, achieve what they want in a timely way. And of course, explain to them what your timeline is and all of the strategies around what you are going to do. Of course, you have to be different, direct and specific. So let's go to number two. Make sure that your property presentation requires no mental leap in terms of clarity, understanding and simplicity. In other words, don't make it hard for the client to understand what's going on, what you're going to do and how it's going to happen. Number three, let's have a look at that. Keep it simple. We've heard this so many times. But don't expect your prospect to be involved in problem solving or puzzle solving. Your solution in sales, leasing or buying, whatever that is, should be simple. So work with that, shape it, make sure it works around what the client's thinking, their timelines, their end result, expectations on price, rent, marketing, that sort of thing. Be comprehensive, but be simple. Let's go to number four. Engaging your prospect emotionally and physically. Getting the psychological side of what you're doing on the table. So the client is looking at you, understanding what you're saying, thinking and recommending. Let them see, feel, hold and experience your offering. Allow them to experience the end result before they get there. And of course, emotionally engage your product or service from a property angle to what they're doing. So in saying all of that, how do you engage them? It's what they see, what they hear, but also what they touch. So you have to have something on the table that they can grab, read through, look at and appreciate. The visual approach is very strong. All of the materials that you give them should be simple, direct and easily converted to a fact, a system, a stage forward. Let's go to number five. Help them take a mental ownership with what you are about to do. In other words, put them in the box now about where you're going tomorrow, at the end of the week, next week, and how you're going to move forward. Connecting with them, communicating with them, all of that. Let's go to number six. It sounds logical, but most agents really don't go deeply enough into this. Ask feedback questions to ensure that your prospect is really listening, engaged and involved. Questions like, how does this look? What do you think about this idea? How are we doing so far? How can I help you with further recommendations here? They are all great questions. They help the client stay on the hook with you. And that is what you want. 
Let's go to number seven. Minimise the features and benefits. What you're doing there is keeping things simple, which goes back to the earlier point that I made. In fact, the fewer benefits and features that you do provide keeps everything on the right track. You don't need any more than, say, four or five real deep features. When clients, property, people are confused, they take no action on anything. They want time to think about it. You don't want that. When they are buying, selling or leasing through you, make it simple. Minimise the features, the benefits, make the recommendations and show them the timeline to move ahead. Let's go to number eight. Creating real value in your service, that is in your offering, so that it far exceeds the price, the commission, the strategy, the marketing recommendations that you will be asking for it. Of course, comprehensive is part of all of those things. Pricing, rental, listings, marketing, strategies, target marketing, all of that. So you bring all of those things into what you are offering. Still offering the road ahead. So it is indeed simple. Number nine, let's have a look at that. So there has to be a single primary benefit. Allow the prospect, the client, to experience the single primary benefit that they are seeking And you do that over and over again from different angles. Now, that could be a price. It could be a timeline. It could be a sale or lease solution. It could be purchasing something. It depends on your angle as to the services that you are providing. So what is the single primary benefit? Drill down on it, then come at it from different angles, different perspectives, which leads me to the next point. Approach your strategy, your recommendations from those different angles, those perspectives, So the client is still on the hook and understanding exactly what you're going to do and how you're going to take them forward. Remember the factor of simplicity as well? That's got to be there. So let's go to number 11. Address the correct emotion. That is the emotion that drives your product or service, sales, leasing, buying, whatever that is. But what is the emotion to the client? Sure, you've got all these services, but what is the emotion to the client? It's going to be something like this. Pride, profit, pleasure, peace of mind, or recognition. What is the correct emotion that matches into the client? Are they an achiever? Are they a financial person? Are they a family person? Are they an investor needing help? You can work with all that, but understand their correct emotion so that you can drill into that as part of the property presentation. Let's go to number 12. This is a good one, very usable. Create a mental picture of ownership with phrases like, when you do this, you will experience such and such. Or, as you proceed with this process, this will be the result. So that is a mental picture of ownership with phrases that direct the client's thinking. And of course, you can bolt some stories onto that, stories of success, other people in the location, the results that you have achieved. So point number 13, never ever assume that they understand what you're doing. Never ever assume that your value is so clear that the client gets it, because they may not. Get the prospect to understand things, appreciate things, your application or use of your property service solution, sales, leasing or property management, whatever it is. Just because you say something doesn't mean that the client actually gets it or wants to get it, maybe they're not on the hook. You have to work through that gently, deliberately, through all of the things that I've mentioned here. Be absolutely sure that your prospect fully understands your recommendations, your solutions, your timelines, and the approach starting tomorrow, through the week, next week, and beyond. Make sure that your timeline is in there so the client actually gets it. So I've mentioned 13 things here for you. Presentation is indeed showtime. However, you need to understand one thing. Even the most experienced salespeople require preparation, rehearsal, detailed planning, practice. So do your practice with your sales and leasing presentations. You will not suddenly rise to the occasion and make a great presentation without practice. Be the best. Do the right things. Make sure the client 
is indeed on the right hook, and that is how you will get the results. So that is the presentation for today. And of course, I've got some articles here at the website for you. And I do want you to go to this particular article, which is based around the eight highly effective presentation skills in commercial real estate. Go there, download it, read it, print it. That's the way to use it. Now, of course, the website is quite comprehensive and there are many different articles in the site for you to work with. In saying that, this is the website, which is commercial-realestate-training.com. There are plenty of things there to help you in sales, leasing, or property management. So this is John Highman. I'm signing off for now. I look forward to talking to you again online very soon about commercial real estate sales, leasing, and property management, and the strategies that you can bring into your business to get real results over time. Catch you soon and visit that website. I'll see you there. Music